Today on The Cone, I'm going to tell you five things that you didn't know about heartworm disease. And I hear what you're saying. You're like, I know everything there is to know about heartworm disease because I'm really into heartworm disease and I give my pet preventative and I read a lot about it and I watch videos on it and my friends, that's what we talk about. But stop! Collaborate and listen. Here's five things you didn't know. And now, the vet who can worm his way into your heart, Dr. Andy Rourke. Heartworms are a huge danger to pets and sometimes they're boring to talk about. Here are five not boring things about heartworms that you probably didn't know. Did you know after heartworms are transmitted to dogs or cats by mosquito that it takes six months for those worms to become adults? Sure, that's a whole lot shorter than the 36 years it takes humans, but it's a long time for a worm. And the test that vets use to detect heartworms only finds adult worms, so it can be a while from the time of infection to the time of a positive test. Sometimes it takes a while to convert, kind of like vampires, but these are not nearly as sparkly. You know hashtags and Twilight are both over, right? And how long do you think these worms live? Well, it's five to seven years in dogs, when you consider the fact that the average American marriage lasts eight years, these worms are quite a commitment. And talk about breaking your heart. In cats, they live one to three years. Now, this is a very, very big deal because cats have tiny little hearts. The only heart that's smaller than a cat's heart is the heart of the Grinch. Speaking of cats, cats are an atypical host for heartworms. That means that most heartworms don't reach the adult stage in cats. Cat heartworm infections are generally one to three adult worms or just immature heartworms. Now, immature heartworms are heartworms that live in their parents' basement and play Call of Duty all day. Get a job, worms. Signs of heartworms in cats include stumbling, seizures, fainting, fluid accumulation in the abdomen. Sometimes the very first signs we see are collapse or, or even worse. Sometimes the first signs we see are too late to even do anything about. Also, there's no treatment for heartworm disease in cats like there is in dogs. Cats just, they can't handle that medication. So, prevention is your only protection. Talk to your vet about whether or not your cat's at risk. And talk to your mom about how her day's going because she misses you. Heartworms can live in other animals besides dogs and cats like ferrets and sea lions. Tell me that you knew sea lions could get heartworm disease. You didn't. I didn't even know that sea lions were a thing. I thought cats hated water. But all the ferret people out there are like, will you shut up about sea lions and talk more about ferrets? Yes, I will. Calm down. I'll ferret out what you need to know. Yes. Ferrets can get heartworms from mosquitoes if they're not on heartworm prevention. So talk to your ferret vet about heartworms and make sure your ferret is covered. And for those who want to know, you can give sea lions the heartworm medication that we use for dogs, but don't unless you're a sea lion vet. Heartworm disease has been diagnosed in all 50 states. Now, there's great variation in how common the disease is, how many carriers are around, what the weather is like in an area, all those sorts of things. So, you need to talk to your vet about what you should be doing to protect your pet in your specific area. Just so you know, the American Heartworm Society recommends what they call Think 12. You should get your pet tested for heartworms every 12 months and your pet should be on heartworm prevention 12 months out of the year. People ask me all the time, hey, if I'm giving my heartworm prevention like I should and I'm being good and I'm doing it every month, then why should I get my dog tested once a year? Here's what I and the American Heartworm Society have to say. Heartworm medications are extremely effective, but they're not perfect. If you miss a dose or even if you're late on a dose, you can leave your dog open for infection. If you use the topical kind of heartworm prevention and your pet rubs it off, or if you use the oral kind and he spits it out or throws it up, you might not have any idea that he's not protected. Also, if you bought your heartworm preventive from some like internet auction site and it came and it looks very similar but not exactly the same or it's, it looks exactly the same except it's in a different language, you could be in trouble. It's almost as if the internet can't be entirely trusted. But you're on the internet. 
In very, 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 very rare circumstances, the medication just might not work. When you look at all of these different things that could go wrong together, testing once a year just makes sense. Testing in cats is much harder to do because infected cats don't have many adult heartworms. Vets usually check cats for heartworms using two tests. One is called an antigen test and it looks for evidence of adult heartworms. The other is an antibody test and it looks for exposure to heartworm larvae. Your vet may also want to do x-rays or an ultrasound to look for evidence of heartworm disease. Heartworm ultrasound images. The only ultrasound images that won't get you 50 likes on Facebook. Do you know who really likes to party? The American Heartworm Society and me. You can find links to both of our stuff in the description below this video. American Heartworm Society, get all your information there on heartworms. At DrAndyWork.com, you can see whatever it is that I do for a living. And hey, let's be the people our pets deserve. <laughs> Ha ha ha!